It's time for Ryan's Roses. All right, dear Ryan and Sissini, I opened a piece of mail addressed to my husband because I thought it was junk mail. It wasn't. This is from Iris in Ontario. Iris, what did you find that was not junk mail? Uh, well, what I found was a ticket for running a red light uh, in a rental car in Phoenix. Oh. Yeah. And what yeah, do you, my husband what do you not get out of Phoenix that? Lately. Okay, so what does it mean? Okay. I don't know exactly what it means. I traced the date back, and it was a weekend that he told me he was going out drinking with the guys. Uh, then he texted me, you know, and said that he drank too much, and he's going to crash at Edmund's house, blah, blah, blah. You know, that stuff happens all the time. It's not really un- out of the ordinary. It doesn't happen all the time, but, you know, happens. So I really didn't think anything of it. I'd rather do that than, you know, drive drunk. It's fine. But I don't know. I mean, I did a little more digging, and now I'm pretty sure that he went to Phoenix that weekend. And so you think he went to Phoenix him, behind your back? Yeah, oh, but yes, behind my back. I don't wow. know anyone in Phoenix, so I don't know why he'd be there. Okay. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So I, I want to talk to him about it. I really wanted to confront him. But just but so I don't I'm clear, mess it up and where did you, give him a heads up and then where he did you get out of it. think he was that weekend? He told me that he was going out with his guy friends. They were celebrating his buddy Edmund's birthday. There was a party and everything. That's but where? At home? Oh, yeah. Weird. And, yep. and then he wouldn't come home? No, he said he drank too much. He was going to crash on the couch there. That and, was what he you told have, me. You have a photographic evidence? Well, I have a ticket of him running a red light in a rental car in Phoenix. All right, hold on for a sec. She's fired oh, up. Yeah. yeah. We'll make the call to him next. So Iris thinks that her husband lied about going to hang out with some buddies and took a trip from Ontario to Phoenix. Here's how. Well, she knows he was in Phoenix because she got the ticket with a photo of him running a red light. The question is, why did he lie and who is he seeing in Phoenix? That's her, Those are the questions, Iris. That's right. We're going to call him now. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then his name on KISS FM. You've got my permission to call my husband right now on KISS FM. All right, we're going to call him now. Let's offer him some roses and see who he wants to send them to and what he puts on the card, okay? Okay. Good luck. Be very quiet until we tell him he's on the air. Okay. Hello? Hi there. Um, is this Victor? Uh, this is. Hi, Victor. I'm calling from Layla's Flowers. We're actually a brand new flower shop right here in Ontario on Philadelphia Street. And I'm calling because we're doing a promotion for local residents. Um, I don't need any credit card info or bill info or anything like that from you. It's just a free dozen roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like today. Is that something that would interest you? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, this, this isn't. Like, are you sure this isn't putting me on some sort of, like, list or anything like that? I mean, like, I don't want to be, you know, inundated with all sorts of junk or anything like that. No, we don't ask for anything. We don't ask for anything of you. you. We just hope that you were first to friends and family. We're just trying to promote our business and our delivery service. It's a dozen red roses. Um, If you want to change the color, we could do white or pink or yellow. Um, But Uh, you just need the name of the person you want to send them to. They can receive them by lunchtime today. They're absolutely free. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, why not? Okay, great. <laughs> um, so let's start with the yeah. name. Uh, yeah, um, Jessica. Jessica. Okay. And what would you like and, to put on the card? And if you could put, uh, you are as sweet as daiquiris. You, She'll understand what that means. You are as sweet as daiquiris? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm assuming this may be a romantic card. Do you want me to put some hearts on that? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, great. She'll, Hello, she'll know v- it's Victor. It's Ryan Seacrest. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I need what? you to know that, Victor. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. Um, we have okay. your we have your wife, Iris, on the line. Did you go visit Jessica in Phoenix? Uh, no. Does she live in Phoenix? Does she live in Phoenix, Victor? No. No. Uh, uh, Jessica is a co-worker of mine. Um, a co-worker. Wow. Come on, right now. Victor, look. 
let me tell you something. <sighs> All right. What? We've been around the block here. You just sent her roses saying you're as sweet as daiquiris. Don't waste everybody's time. If you are cheating on your wife, now's the time to tell her. We know that you're in Phoenix. She has a photograph of you running a red light in Phoenix, bro. Uh, I, I, are you sure it's me? Because I mean, she's, sure, she's married to you. Oh so. This is your wife. You told me that you were going to your boy's birthday party, and then I open up some mail and I see a ticket of you running a red light in Phoenix in a rental car. So, Victor, I mean, it's Jessica. Baby, I went to I went to Edgar's birthday party. That's Victor, what happened, Victor, okay? Victor, really? People have to get to work. Victor, you were in Phoenix. You just sent roses to Jessica. You said you're as sweet as daiquiris added hearts. How long have you been cheating on your wife with Jessica? Yeah, I, I, bro, I don't even know what you're talking about because, all right, so Jessica is uh, she's a sweet coworker who's, uh, who's, who's whose mom just died, and I'm just being nice, okay? I'm just wow, being Victor, just, you're making this so much worse. Seriously, ever, Victor? Why were you in Phoenix? Why were you in Phoenix when you said you were at your buddy's place? I was, uh, I mean, I had business over there at some point, and maybe... But you were there at the same time. Victor, Victor, do you hear us? Come on. We know you were lying about where you were. Why? I I, I don't know what you're talking about. Because you're cheating. That's why. That's why. Iris, you have everything you need now. He's lied to you. He traveled to Phoenix. He sent roses to Jessica. He wrote that on the card. He's just not fessing up to you. But you now know. No, I know. There's something going yes, on. I do. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. At least I know. There is nothing going on, baby. Victor. Vic- okay. Oh, man. Victor. All right, Victor. Good. Iris, good luck. I'm glad you got Thank some facts you. here. All right, you take care. Me too. Thank you, guys. Thank oh. you so much. I'm sorry, Iris.